If you had to pick out one object as the most important in your life, what would it be? Today, I'm going to talk about mine. This is not a product placement. Well, it is, I guess, because this is a product. I don't even know if they make it anymore. I've had this box of macaroni and cheese for 12 years. It's probably not good anymore. I don't actually know when it expires or if it expires. I'm going to try not to shake it because it aggravates the microphone, though. But I did a video about this on my old channel. People have asked about it again, and it sits there on my back because it is the most important object in the history of my life. When I was 18, I was homeless, and I, I just got my first full-time job, and I started paying rent, and I, and I was, you know, living and surviving, but it, I went through a lot of rough patches. You know, I'd spend months unemployed or things like that. I'd float around. I was 18. I mean, what are you going to do? And, you know, I got to the point where I could barely afford groceries and do, like, the food bank thing and whatnot, and it was really helpful. But I bought this box of mac and cheese for 50 cents, and I put it on my shelf, and I said, one day... I am going to quit. I'm going to quit everything. One day I'm going to be down to my last dollar. One day I'm going to be down to my last meal. And I'm going to have nothing. And I, that, was a, that was a reality. I was at risk for years. And I had grown up at risk and in poverty. I mean, what passes for poverty in Canada? But poverty nonetheless. And I said, on that day, I will at least have a decent bowl of macaroni and cheese. Because with the proper ingredients, this stuff is not bad. And you'll notice the box is still full. Sometimes I would look at it and I would think, is today the day when I eat this box of, uh, of mac and cheese? And I'd be, you know, when I was depressed or when I was down or just, you know, when something really unfortunate had happened, I had an out. Because when I was just going to, if I was just ready to give up, this mac and cheese was waiting for me. This is my consolation prize for quitting life. You know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I, I, I ever thought about it in, a, in, in terms of a suicidal sense, but you know, in the, in the sense that it's my last day as a person. And I have this. And I would look at it. And it would sit there on my shelf. People would tease me about it. And I would make, and, and. And make fun of me. And every time my mom came over, she would she would be like, "What's up with that mac and cheese? Why is it sitting there? Why is it not in the kitchen or wherever else?" But and I would think, "Not today. Maybe tomorrow." And I don't look at it very much anymore. It sits on my shelf behind me because it's important and it belongs there. Because this is all stuff that matters to me in all kinds of really weird ways. But I would, you know, but I don't look at it that much anymore. I don't have much of a cause to, and I'm really glad for that. But someday, I might again, and I will still have my box of mac and cheese. I don't know. Like I said, it's one of my objects of power. And we give we give these things the strength, but it feels good to know that there's something waiting for me, and it feels even better to know that while I might always need it. I will never use it. 